Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Danger Mouse 1337, and as you can tell, I've changed the format a little bit. I'll be playing some background music and being used in live footage now instead of a solid stock avatar. So, if you like the new format, just uh, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know too. Now, the video we'll be commentating on is a video by April and Wayne Show, who some people that the commentary community has run, had a run in with before because Youngblood did a commentary on them. But I found a slightly older video where she's talking about why religious tolerance is a bad idea and it's a load of bullshit. So without any further ado, on to the commentary. Well this will be the first time I could be arrested for doing a commentary. I hope you people will appreciate all the shit I do for you. Today I'm gonna deal with the Hindus, Buddhists and Muslims. Three religions in five minutes, you better start talking quickly, girl. Many religious and non-religious people say that we should keep our beliefs to ourselves. We should be quiet, don't be controversial, don't offend anyone, don't talk about the devil, just be quiet. You know the KKK probably say the exact same thing you're saying here. If we do this, we play into the hand of Satan. Meanwhile, millions upon millions are on their way to a burning hell. Well, I guess I'll see you there then. While Christians sit back and say nothing. Remember, Satan does not sleep and he's not under our feet. He's coming out of the fucking trees, man. He plans and plots to get your soul by any means necessary. So what you mean like the Catholic Church then? He walks about seeking who he may devour. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Oh my god, I figured it out. I know who Satan is. In other words, to steal the truth from your heart, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. To kill your body and then to destroy both your soul and body in hell. Golly gee, that doesn't sound very nice. Christians think that we're supposed to have respect for other religions. Well, I would like to at the very least thank you for separating yourself out from other Christians. Those people are the good people in the religion and you are the shit in the religion. It's good to know you recognize that. But if you look at the teachings of Jesus, he never had respect for other religions. He never said that we all should be one or have a common ground or have an open mind. Oh, the classic technique of, because he didn't say something, it means he actually did say something else. Just because he didn't say that you shouldn't be communist means that you have to be communist now if you're Christian. If Jesus did, he would not have said in John 14 and 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You see the wording there? No man, which automatically means all women are going to hell anyway. So I don't know what you're all hot and bothered about. Jesus is the only way to heaven. He is the absolute truth, and he cannot lie. So unlike his followers, they never did. What's interesting about that little passage is that it illustrates quite nicely man's self-destructive nature and doesn't really refer to what she thinks it does. Jesus is the only one who gives eternal life. In 1 Timothy 2 and 5 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Man Christ Jesus? Is that kind of like man bear pig or something? Once again, the only way to God is through Jesus Christ. Muslims say that there is only one God, but he's a triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but I think that's also what the Catholics believe, don't they? Well, that point kind of went nowhere now, didn't it? Muslims believe that Jesus is only a prophet, but in John 14 and 9, Jesus explains how he is God the Father. Jesus told Philip, he that seen me hath seen the Father. The Father is in me, and I'm in the Father. John 8. Well, that little speech is all good except for one thing. You see, Muslims believe in multiple prophets. They believe in Jesus, but they also believe in Muhammad. In fact, Jesus is mentioned more than Muhammad in the Quran. Saying that they think Jesus is only a mere prophet is bullshit because they think of uh, Muhammad the exact same way. In 24 says, For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. That means, if you don't believe that Jesus is God, 
you will die in your sins. Well, you really are making a great case for us why your religion should be uh, respected as opposed to abolished. In Acts 4 and 14 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Notice, Jesus did not mention Hinduism, Buddhism, or any other false religion. There we are once again taking things as for granted by implying things from stuff that he didn't say. He didn't specifically admonish these religions, so by his silence you're assuming that he did. At the end of the day, honey, you got to face it. The only false religion here is the endless stream of bullshit flying out of your mouth. In other words, you cannot have salvation without Jesus and you cannot be saved from hell without Jesus. Jesus said, I am the door. And if you try to get to heaven your own way through Buddhism, Hinduism, or following Allah and listening to the false prophet Muhammad, or idolizing Mary, or following any false religion, you are considered a thief or... Okay, what the fuck is that shit? Seriously, what the fuck is that shit? You're essentially eliminating every other possible religion besides your own from existence. That is your goal. Your goal is simply to erase all other schools of knowledge. This is the mentality of the fascist. This is the mentality of the Borg. Fuck off, essentially. Just fuck off. A robber. The devils also believe and tremble. So what about you? The Bible says that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Not in a million fucking years. I don't care what you do to me. You beat me, fucking torture me, try and take whatever fucking religion other people seem to happen to have away from them. Whatever the fuck you do. Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. He is the Almighty God. Some may think I might sound harsh or I'm not showing love. Uh, you think? Well, you're so good at quote mining the Bible, you actually found one to back up your assholery. Good job. Or I'm too judgmental. But the love of God is telling you the truth. But the Bible says I must warn you. If I don't, your blood will be upon my hands. So essentially what you're saying is you're seeking to erase other people's religious beliefs for their own good. Isn't this wonderful? Some say that Christians shouldn't judge, but the Bible says we can judge righteous judgment. The Bible says... And of course the Bible also says judge lest they be judged, so that's pretty much a no-win. This is the time we're living in now. No one wants to believe the truth which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. they rather believe a lie. Rationality, reasonableness, moderation, what are those things? Want to give your life to Jesus and escape hell? Pray this prayer. No and no. Dear Jesus. Ooh, it sounds like Jesus is in the mood for making love. I'm a sinner. Nah, this is boring, need some more funk. Hold on. <laughs> Well, it's safe to say that I'm not going to be doing that. And so we're moving into the final thoughts phase of the commentary, the part where I tell you guys what I think, and then, of course, we all go our separate ways. I think that people like this don't only hurt their own cause, but they also hurt the cause of everyone who wants to have any kind of freedom. That's the thing, though. People like this are the reason that anti-theists exist. If Christians like this didn't shy and shove their religion down everyone's throat, then no one would really care about religion that much. Now, I have to say, I'm not an anti-theist myself, I'm in fact a deist, and if anyone wants me to explain that, that's going to take a few hours, but I'm more than happy to. Anyway, guys, the point is that people like this are just nothing but poison to society. And now it's time for me to go, and as always... Thank you,